So let's see here. You have um, first one out, man holding a heart. Ooh, so maybe you're entering a new relationship. Uh, could be, you know, business or it could be love. And then you have door to value. So this could be something that could be very successful for you. And then door to romance. So perhaps it is romance. And then walking away. So, and then um, the last one that flung out was all tied up. So maybe there's something that's ended with the all tied up as far as a contract and maybe you're walking away from something that's allowing you to perhaps start over in, in something that has value for you so that seems really good maybe you've ended a divorce or something uh, a contract this is about things that bind you um, and some of them could be contracts um, and if you see there's a sense of not really being in distress but maybe in a sense of waiting so maybe this is something that you've been waiting for okay and look at the bottom of the deck is happy family so maybe this is where you guys are headed okay so welcome i hope you're doing well thank you so much for joining me please like share and subscribe and let me know what you think and i finally got my new internet so i'm dying to see how it works i just went through a horrible month <laughs> not being able to post regularly like i like to so um let's see how it works Let's see here. Man holding a heart. What does that mean, please? What does that mean? The man holding a heart. Okay, so you have the Ace of Pentacles and the the world. So this is where you start over. This is where, um, especially with the, the sun. I'm sorry, the world. I thought that was the sun because in this deck, they're very similar, but I'm glad I caught on to that. Um, I do feel like this is a new chapter. It's definitely going through a new kind of... Um, a new doorway really but it's time it's something that maybe this is your opportunity whatever it is that you're trying to start um if, if you're looking at it as an aspect of business you might be getting a new boss you might be you know entering something that is very worthwhile for you financially um with love i definitely do feel like this is a new beginning and this definitely could be a movement towards you it could definitely speak of traveling maybe traveling to to someone maybe you're at a distance from someone not so much energetically but location i feel like you might be um you know far away from someone but it's definitely a sense of moving towards this new beginning here with the ace of pentacles let's see what is the world please the world is the world okay so you have the eight of cups and the king of pentacles so right there they're telling you whoever this is whoever this king of pentacles is they're walking away from something it's it's like about time it, it's time to do it um and so maybe they're walking away from something emotionally maybe they've already done it and that's giving them a sense of being grounded and a sense of starting over um i feel very light-hearted uh very happy sort of a little bit sort of bashful for some weird reason like shy um but i definitely do feel like this person is going towards this kind of um new beginning so they've walked away from something what is the eight of cups and the eight of cups is something emotional your heart and your soul is calling you to something so what is calling you is this your twin is this your soulmate is this just you your higher self calling you as in a form of um coming connected with you I mean, yeah, you, you got to take what resonates for you. Um, Eight of Cups, please. What is the Eight of Cups? What's the Eight of Cups here? And this is definitely um, masculine energy. Okay, so very good already, I see. So Ten of Swords is really this card of, um, you know, being stuck, being in that uh, place of just being betrayed so much that you just can't move anymore. If it's not betrayal, it's just sadness or a sense of grieving at losses or almost like a sense of just just nothing good um almost just almost like you just couldn't go on anymore okay um and it could have been caused either by something that happened to you that was very uh, painful a lot of pain you held on to it it could have been a sense of somebody betrayed you and it just hurt you so bad um something like that with this ten of swords but you got the, the queen of wands the knight of wands the queen of cups and the eight of swords with the page of swords so you might have been stuck between two different people this is definitely in a place where where you have the one queen the knight of wands and then the king queen of cups um this is definitely a sense where maybe you're headed towards the one that you have more passion towards 
um this is also maybe not being able to move towards that person with the ten of cups you might have not been able to move towards the person that you wanted to because you might have had um another partner a karmic partner a girlfriend a boyfriend um something like that okay maybe it's just a very difficult situation if it isn't love it's like a very difficult situation that you're between two maybe two people two jobs um two different situations okay so i definitely do feel like there's a sense of um with the eight of swords and the page of cups there's really the sense of um youthfulness like and that's why i feel so light-hearted like it, it's almost like a feeling of starting over and almost like there's a lot of weight that has been lifted with this world and this ten of swords the world is saying it's it's um it's been quite a big cycle it's just been a very big cycle that you very much wanted to get out of but you just couldn't um and it could have just been whatever pierced you it just stomped you in your ground you know with the ten of swords and the eight of swords and perhaps this just was something that might have happened that was supposed to end because it was temporary but it lingered for a long time so it's something that was very detrimental to you um and you just really couldn't move from it so let's see i want to know oops and i just dropped my cards but they landed good so okay so what is the um the eight of swords right here eight of swords please eight of swords so mentally maybe it was just something i feel like it was supposed to end sooner than uh, than it did um i think it kept you in a place of fear um from moving um eight of swords please eight of swords what does this mean okay so you have um the four of pentacles and the nine of swords the fear and the worry kept you stuck here um maybe it could have been money um maybe it was just that you had a situation a contract with somebody that you owed them money or you were there for the money whatever it was okay um i want to know what is the queen of wands queen of wands please the queen of wands so you could have been in a marriage that you were in there for 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 money you know and i get that that happens a lot um this could have been a job that you just couldn't leave but you wanted to you know because maybe the money was good you didn't want to be left out in the cold without money um so the king of wands this is your your twin this is your soulmate um you got the king and the queen of wands you got the king of wands clarifying the queen of wands so wow that is a couple right there and i want to know what is the queen of cups then what's the queen of cups and see the way i place them the knight of wands is walking away from the queen of cups so and i never know how i'm going to place them it's just the way they come out the way they want me to tell the story um so you have the nine of wands um that could have been the wall the barrier the the person who just kept you in this state of you have to be worried you know maybe you were worried about this person this the person that you're leaving or have left is the person that maybe you just worried so much about them almost like the feeling of in your head you thought this person couldn't take care of themselves so you had to take care of them but i definitely do feel like there's a sense of whoever that is feels like that no longer they're walking away from it and it's making them be that king of pentacles a much grounded person really um and perhaps just knowing what they want to do i feel like they know what they want to do now they're not so much worried and stuck in their head um so yeah that's what they're saying today uh and you definitely do have your twin or soulmate here so maybe this is your um your twin telling you that hey i'm still holding your heart I'm, I'm still there i'm still in it okay uh let's see door to value so maybe prosperity maybe abundance in a form of they said somebody getting inheritance okay that could be something dealing with money um maybe even a new promotion or job they say okay um and you got the three of cups so this is definitely that sense of celebrating and being joyful and coming together and my gosh, if you've been in the outs in something, it's like everything's turning and it's going in your favor. Um, maybe coming together with loved ones. Um, maybe your lover, your twin, okay? With the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. What is the Three of Cups? So maybe this is a reunion, okay? Maybe a family reunion too. I see. Okay, Three of Cups. What's the Three of Cups? It's like I covered it. I think they say I covered it just wait for it you're gonna get a message of it okay i definitely do feel like they're saying you're gonna get a message from this three of cups whoever wants to come back whoever is going to give you this good celebrating news okay door to romance i want to know what is door to romance 
they're very open today too guys as far as the connection with whatever energy i'm having who who is ever energy i'm connecting to they're very open what is the door to romance door to romance so the temperance um that's really divine intervention that's also the sense of healing that's also the sense of um having like this kinetic energy this really good um charisma about each other uh there's a lot of patience within this couple um I think it's that unconditional love. It feels like unconditional love with temperance. And I think that that is a healer. I definitely do feel like whoever this is that you're at a distance from with the world, you, this person really misses you. Um, I think they look back at you, uh, meaning this could be a, like an energetic connection as far as a telepathic or energy, just feeling energy. Um, I definitely do feel this person misses. There's a lot of sense of miss with the Five of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Justice. So you're also the person that made them see. I definitely think that you are the person that made them surrender to something with the Five of Swords, um, meaning surrender to the fact that, hey, do you get busy living or do you just keep on dying in that Ten of Swords? Because this person was pretty much nearly at the state where they were just done uh, for whatever reason just done you know but there's a sense of perhaps this queen of wands balancing something out for them making them move okay perhaps this is the person that made you see that oh my god i need to get a divorce um so you got the five of wands the hangman there you go the three of swords and the king of cups so this person also was very much with the king of cups they said it again you've been in a relationship that you sort of had to take care of somebody. I feel like this person that you had to take care of was younger, um, more immature. You're not seeing eye to eye now. And it's been probably because they met the Queen of Wands somewhere in the middle there. Um, there's definitely that sense of having a lot of pain with the Three of Swords, a lot of betrayal. Um, but I definitely do feel with the Temperance and the Five of Cups, uh, somehow this person is looking back in the past and realizing everything that's happened and it sort of kicked them into the state of um, knowing that they need to move away from something okay they need to move towards romance and that's going to bring a lot of value maybe you're going to work together maybe you work together maybe this is something that's under the table as far as working together okay for some of you um i want to know what is walking away what is walking away happy um, not really wanting to look back. The King of Swords, you have the truth, that's why. That's why there's a feeling of that happiness and th there's not a feeling of doubt. It's almost a feeling of clarity, which is making them go towards towards what they want. It's, there's action here with this King of Swords. There's also truth. Um, the truth set them free. So whatever's been holding you back and you've been waiting for something to come in clear for you, you will get the clear answer and it's a yes, they say. Um, and then the Knight of Cups, so really being able to offer their love, their their emotions, um, and their, this is an offer they're saying. So being able to offer everything. Let's see here. Yes, and that's what they said. All the kings are on the table, and they are. They're they're ready to offer everything to you. You got the King of Swords, the King of Cups. Started off with the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of truth that needs to come out with the King of Swords. There's a sense of being able to be tender and loving with the, the King of Cups, like um, unconditional, and then really stable with the King of Pentacles. So this is somebody who's really transitioned and they've been waiting, um, either you or them have been waiting for this to happen. And I definitely do feel like this is karma. This is definitely the sense of temperance, being patient, uh, letting things work out, working on you, letting them do the work while you grow. That's what Twin Flames is all about, and that's the hardest part. And so the tower, so the, the tower is at the top, but yet the Six of Pentacles is at the bottom. So it's something that just sh sort of shook. I feel it was 2020. 2020 really shook up a lot of relationships. Um, you had to spend a lot of time with people, and I think that that was sort of the wake-up call for some people, and that's why things are going to happen this year for you. I feel it was them maybe needing to sign a contract or wait for this to happen maybe divine timing okay um i want to know what is the what is the end of this story what's the conclusion so let's see here um the two of pentacles 
perhaps choosing, making the decision. Um, it was in reverse, so maybe it's that time where you're not in that crossroad. In other words, you've made the choice, okay? Uh, and then, yeah, calling it truce with the Four of Swords, putting something to end, um, allowing healing. No more battle, no more fighting, okay? Six of Pentacles, definitely that sense of balance, reciprocity, um, being aligned. This is some uh, twins that are aligned. Six of Swords moving out of um, some kind of loss, um, even a sense of, you know, maybe this person did a lot of work to be able to move out of this grieving or this feeling of, you know, everything happened to them. They're, they're coming out clean. Maybe this is someone who's getting clean. Um, drugs or alcohol, okay? So I want to know, um, what can you tell me about this karmic cycle? What was the karmic cycle, please? And how will it end? What can you show me? about this reading okay so really a prisoner of their mind um not being able to move but they're changing that they're getting better i feel here with the melan melancholy this the the homesickness of not being with the person that is aligned to them it really made them sort of crazy um perhaps coming home from getting maybe um even like what are, what do i see um institution as far as like a rehab or something like that Betty Ford, alcoholism or drug issues or something. Um, but they're, they're getting better. I think they just miss. I think they were broken hearted. Um, what else can you show me? So this is someone who, like I'm telling you, with the tennis swords, the, the, there's a lot of swords here. This person's been through sabotage and sabotage, definitely. Um, yeah. Let's see, what else can you show me? They didn't really want to talk about that sabotage because I it, I feel like this reading went by fast and they moved it along very quickly. They, I, now that I'm looking at it, I didn't even clarify what was the Five of Swords. Um, and that's something that I would normally do as well as the Three of Swords because I think I just said it. I said it all. Um, very interesting for me. So there you go. There's a writer coming. There's a new journey and it's love. So this definitely could be your twin balancing out the situation. Okay, so let's see here. I want to know, uh, what is their insight for today? What is their insight? What can you show them? What's the insight with this reading? Okay, I'm going to take this one right here. Okay, so it says, accept where you are. You are exactly where you need to be this moment. It has much to teach you. Be willing to learn what you need to learn and be patient with your growth so somebody's growing um also this one it says feelings power creation so it says follow your feelings to your desires your likes and your dislikes will lead you to what you want to create from your soul there is power in letting your feelings guide you okay so i do feel somebody is being guided by their their higher self really uh, i don't know why they keep saying that but they do so i have to say it Okay, and so I want to know what is the mer mermaid message today? Mermaid message. What does it mean? What is it? Let's see. Um, deep dive and inner knowing. Uh, yeah, they did some soul searching. Definitely. And there's this knowledge now. Um, I think they know what to do. At the bottom of the deck is love. So yeah, let's see what's at the top. Awareness. See? Oh, boy. Person's aware. They're, they did a deep dive, I think. Okay, what is their message for today as far as the, the spellcasting message? Okay, so you have dreams. So pay, att pay attention to your dreams. Uh, keep your dr dream journals going. You might be getting messages through dreams. Uh, blessings, so blessings are being bestowed onto you. Truth, remember this whole reading is really about truth too, inner truth. That inner truth is going to help you to give you that new beginning and that blessing okay um career and remember i told you there's definitely that sense of um needing needing um to follow your heart and your career as far as which direction you want to go um and then with the com compassion really having compassion for yourself as well as others that's going to lead you to love so everything's leading to love right now it feels like and home stability home is where the love is right where the heart is so yeah, let's see here. What are these two souls telling each other today? What are they telling each other today? Please, what are they telling each other today? Okay, so uh, who doesn't, 
who doesn't uh okay don't be afraid of who doesn't want you um so i think that this goes along with where i told you that somebody has had to take care of somebody maybe that person really didn't care for them and i think that that might be part of the realization um that they definitely maybe didn't belong with somebody and i do feel it's because souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together let's see what's at the top so the hotter see the hottest love was the coldest end and that's what that is it's they, they were with somebody that yeah they were younger they were really hot you know um but then it went cold and they ended up having to take care of them for a long time and i think that was a big lesson learned for whoever this is okay so maybe that's your person guys so what's the the angel message for today angel message for today please what's the angel i gave you more oracles i think i, I just didn't cover a lot of the tarot today i don't know why not me okay so don't stop definitely keep going and i'm gonna end it with the romance angels what can you tell the viewer as far as love and romance what's coming in their way okay so new love and calling in your soulmate so there you go i'm gonna end it with that because that sounds beautiful all right guys i hope you like this reading thank you so much for your time have a beautiful day stay safe and i'll see you guys tomorrow